You're listening to DraftKings Network. Folks, the Dan Lebitard Show with Stu Gatz is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's something that you'd love to learn? As an adult, do you make time to explore the new things as often as you'd like? Or has that sense of curiosity been left behind? Kids are always learning, always growing. But as adults, sometimes we lose that spark. What's something you've been wanting to pick up? Gardening, a new language, maybe finally beat your best friend in bowling. Therapy can help you reconnect with that sense of wonder. Your back to school era can start at any age. Better help because learning and growing should never stop. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Rediscover your curiosity with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash DLB to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash DLB. Now's a good time to remember where the story of tequila started. In 1795, the first tequila distillery was opened by the Cuervo family. And 229 years later, Cuervo is still going strong. Family owned from the start, same family, same land. Now's a good time to enjoy Cuervo, the tequila that invented tequila. Go to Cuervo.com to shop tequila or visit a store near you. Cuervo, now's a good time. Trademarks owned by Beckley, SAB, the CV, copyright 2024, Proximo, Jersey City, New Jersey. Please drink responsibly. This is the Dan Lebator Show with the Stugatz Podcast. We have not talked to you uh, specifically about this outburst of the last 14 days of Caitlin Clark because you've been swallowed by college football. I haven't gotten any thoughts from you on on the fact that she's like the statistically already breaking all of the rookie records, triple doubles and threes, and obviously has figured out whatever needed to be figured out the first two weeks of the season. Didn't I tell you guys this would happen? I feel like I've been pretty outspoken since she started that this would happen. I think the cool thing for Caitlin right now, I think the conversation, like, uh, and very unfortunately, Angel Reese out for the season. She hurt her wrist. She's going to need surgery. So that kind of puts rookie in the year of the year in the bag for Caitlin. However, I think the better conversation even going into before Angel got hurt was not whether Caitlin was going to be rookie of the year or not, or was she going to make, you know, first team all WNBA because she's playing at that level. And I think what's most Im- impressive about this is, yes, her st- her statistics are amazing and she's doing crazy, crazy things. The Indiana Fever are a playoff team and they're not just a playoff team. They're a playoff team. People are scared to play like they do not want to get matched up against the Fever because they're one of the hottest teams in the WNBA right now. And she has made everyone on that roster so much better. And Kelsey Mitchell's been phenomenal. Aaliyah Boston, Lexi Hull, they have all like just gotten so much better as a collective unit. And so shout out, Kaylin, shout out the Fever. They have been awesome. And I told you all that this would happen. Uh, you see, she's ready for the big time. This is what Kornheiser and Wilbon have done for the last 10 years. Uh, the I told you so show where no one cares what you said, but you take the victory lap on what you said. Can you take us through real quick before we let you go? Find something in your father's basement that he would not want us to see and point it out to us. Oh, Just God. wherever it is that you can find anything that uh, your dad has. It can be anything. Is there anything weird beyond the wood paneling that you can show us that your dad would be ashamed of because uh, because he doesn't keep that basement the way that he could uh keep in mind lucy we are literally you are like what they originally accused the bloggers of being you're the critic who joins us from their parents basement yeah well i don't pay rent so eat losers this is my dad's primed pyramid of success wow (laughs) so i don't know is that weird yeah weird enough thank you for joining us uh good seeing you lucy always nice seeing you it's nice to see you spending all that metal arc money on expense accounts as you travel the uh the the weekend america and enjoy yourself well i got us on jimmy kimmel dan so i earned it that's right and you said i could and you said i could and she needed to buy iowa gear she didn't have any yeah Yeah. exactly i actually didn't even buy anything by the way you're welcome i saved you so much money i went i'm not gonna buy anything at wisconsin either you're welcome what are you (laughs) doing Already have a vibe. Main penalty, five minutes, screaming comedy. You're not supposed to tell people that. You bought me so much stuff at Texas A&M, though. <laughs> See you later. How uh, bad are they? Uh, Billy. Uh, hey. 
She was on God Bless Football with you guys. She what, was. What did you guys end up doing? God Bless Football is out right now. What yeah, time it's is out a, now. Check Billy, it out. What time is what? a Thomas Hammock interview on God Bless Football? I, please, don't put any. We're not doing that? Head, don't, please. Don't We're not doing that because it's usually an opposing I, coach has a big upset. I know, I know he's teams. already trying to start to do that, and I'm trying to get it's this weird. under control. It's weird. Anywho. You guys have just broken away from it. Yeah. Was fam, where's fam's you, fame use coach? If you want, you can check out to see what Beach Boys song the pilot of Lucy's plane started to sing while she was on the plane. God bless football. Did you do useless sound montage? Have you done We it? have a uh, useless sound montage available should you want it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Everybody loves this thing. I'm encouraged with the effort, you know, encouraged with the effort. There's always uh, room for improvement and execution in those things, but uh, I'll tell you, we don't, we don't need room for improvement in effort. For me, I think, you know, the positive I can take out of it is, is the way that the guys stuck together and just kept playing hard. It wasn't disrespectful, you know, because my mom didn't raise me that way. Um, we battled and, and we continue to fight, and that's, you know, th those are the emotions of today. It's almost like you don't want to hit him, because I think when you hit him, he plays better. These are hard to get. I mean, uh... I mean, everybody in that locker room knows it, uh, as, as do I, that uh, it is really hard to win a game in the NFL. Once it clicks, it's going to click, you know. I'm focused on doing my job and, and playing as well as I can, so um, I've got to play better. I know that, um, and I'm uh, focused on doing that. Overall, we have to do a, a, a better job, and that starts with me. Again, i got to do a better job all the way around, and, and that's what I'll do. If you can't get fourth and one, man, sometimes you don't deserve to win. Yeah. And that's just a philosophical approach that we live by. Um, I believe in our bigs. I've talked to you guys repeatedly that we're going to ride the wave that our bigs on offense and defense provide, and we mean it. Obviously, we didn't get it done right there, but we still live that life. Listen, he gave us a chance. I think there's small things that always lead up to big things um, that make games a lot closer. What I like about this group is their, their will did not waver, and we'll keep our confidence, and we'll get back in the lab tomorrow and fix up what we need to fix up to win a game next week at home. The first half was a winning offensive football game. Second half, that's that's can lose you games. It's just kind of a tale of two halves, really. Just being on the sideline, being with our crew, the guys were poised. Nobody batted an eye. Uh, knew what we needed to do to win the game. We stuck to the plan, made some adjustments, and just kept playing. You know, it's a long game. These games go 60 minutes down to the wire, and um, just proud of our guys and the effort, the attitude, the togetherness. And uh, I thought they played really, really hard. Half this league is obviously not going to be winners this week. Everybody has bad apples. Let's focus on the things that we have to improve on. All right, we'll enjoy the win, uh, but but we understand we've got a lot of things that we've got to do better. There was going to be some good stuff that happened in that game. There was going to be some bad stuff that happened in that game. I think there was a lot of opportunities that we didn't capitalize on, and when you don't do that, you get beat. Whether you win, whether you lose, they're all the same for us coaches, right? You got to learn from wins, you got to learn from losses, and we will certainly learn from this loss. Just, you know, we're going to live that life. Uh, we don't live in our fears, man. We play and play to win. At the end of the day, man, it's, it's, the season's not over. Yes. yes. The season is not over after week one. Mike Tomlin, I loved hearing from him there. Man, look at how happy they are in the back row. Of course. Just hearing Mike Tomlin. He's the GOAT. Yeah. We're not going to live Pagano in that Pagano status. Love my bigs. Yes. Uh, <laughs> did it longer than Pagano, so he's number one, I think. <laughs> They're going to go 9-8 and eight again. Uh, they make the playoffs. Every though. game yeah. is going to be six field goals. <laughs> Howdy, folks. It is Mike Ryan, and over the course of our 20 years together, there have been a lot of changes, a lot of changes to the show, a lot of changes to my body, a lot of changes to you and your listening habits. But one thing that hasn't changed is the undebatable great taste of Miller Lite. Another thing that hasn't changed, it's less filling. So what is the best thing about the original light beer? Miller Lite sparked this debate way back in 1975, and we still haven't settled it. You can understand why the debate rages on. Great taste versus less filling. But why not have both? That's what Miller Lite presents in that beautiful white can. A light beer that actually tastes like beer. You don't have to choose what's best. Miller Lite has great taste and is less filling. Tastes like Miller time. To get Miller Lite delivered right to your door, visit MillerLite.com slash Dan. Or you can find it pretty much anywhere that sells beer. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories per 12 ounces. Fewer cows and carbs than premium regular beer. Don Lebatard. I may take it one step further. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
You're getting sexier Here by the moment. Slow down. Slow, down. Slow down. We haven't even gotten. Stugats. I'm gonna Jason around Sanders, and... you're on notice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What in spite of him. Oh, wow. I love you, Duke. This is the Don Levatar Show with the Stugats. For the record, Bobby Wagner is a commander. Oh, wow. Really? What? Amazing. Sounded like your Schefter again. Hmm. For the record. Mm -hmm. Well, I I just think a lot of that happened yesterday. This is one of those days I missed the text machine because I know I would be getting inundated right now with how much this happened to the audience. There are rarely these connection points where I know exactly who I'm talking to about what, and there are many people out there who are not fantasy people. Like, there are also many people who are saying, yeah, how could this show not know that Bobby Wagner was a commander? There are plenty of those out there. Please. But I just know that was happening all over the sport yesterday, especially with defensive players. The thing I don't think was happening, Mike, and I did not know that this was going to now be a lane for you as our vanity correspondent, you are consistently breaking news about people taking care of themselves with either pharmaceuticals or science, and you've revealed, I haven't heard that anywhere else, that Mike McDaniel has phony baloney hair, hmm. that you are not judging, that you are proud That's of him for hair. doing. Yes, uh, well... Yes, it's real hair, but it may be his actual hair retransplanted somewhere else or however those things work. Yeah, technology it, is really, I mean, we're in a booming time for hair transplant. It's not a toupee. No, no, no. It's not a Bill Self situation. Not at all. It's not a, it's a who else has had a toupee? Who, who else has got Carl a, Ravage has had the same hairstyle since the 90s, so yeah, put that one together. Looks great. Mm. Uh, you, how many, to, you're not, where do you report just straight toupees? Where are you reporting? Not not modern day fa- uh, fake Even though that science is also improved. That science is also improved. You basically have to see generations go by with somebody having the same haircut like Bill Self for a while now to, to actually say that because, I mean, I'm on that IG algorithm. Man, wigs are looking good these days. But no, credit where it's due. Uh, Coach McDaniel had, had good work done. I uh, I would have guessed it, it. This might have happened naturally. Someone bounced back because it keeps or whatever. But uh, he wore a, a hat all se- all off season long. That's typically not his style. But he very clearly wanted to surprise us with a very fresh look. The greatest toupee of all time is Dom Capers, right? I mean, he's got Those are plugs. Famously. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Huh. Like doll-like pl- wow. plugs. Well, well wait a minute, stuff. though. Uh, yes, these are different things. Toupees and plugs are different things. What Mike is talking about, he's accusing someone here of. Uh, doing work so expertly and well that they are now their hair looks much better. But you are not, in fact, accusing is the wrong verb. No, you're, celebrating. You're, I am celebrating. Celebrating, yes. That's good work. Mm-hmm. That's like Matthew McConaughey. Just tremendous work. Pantheon type work. And also, you have the lane of facial work of any kind. Uh, you have not yet made a lot of Ozempic uh, accusations. No, I don't. I don't, I don't like or to, celebration. I don't like to do that. I mean, I, I myself have done the generic. Granted, I got fat because of it. But you are doing you're doing vanity really? you are now doing vanity reporting. You're sort of being the Mario Lopez for sports, are you not? This I'm here is- for you. This is a service that you didn't know that you needed. But look, you find it interesting. I mean, the the coach certainly had a glow up over the off season. He became a meme. And I think we also should point out, hey, great comeback for the hairline. That's good stuff. Yeah. If you were the Packers, you do try and get Ryan Tannehill, correct? You have to. Yeah, over just because of the experience factor. Malik Willis, like I actually liked Malik Willis a lot in college, but he's very raw and he's very new to their program. Like he got there like a couple weeks ago. And that's why if you're Tannehill, like I said a few weeks ago, you wait. And now he can get the job and he can play. He and might be the quarterback for the Packers. Instead right. of signing on to be a backup somewhere right. and hoping for an injury. You start right you away. You just sit back with your feet up yep. and you wait for the injuries to come to you. Mm-hmm. Stugatz was delighted uh, during the break because he's like, uh, Dan, isn't it uh, amazing that of all the quarterbacks who got money after week one uh, that we had questions about the $50 million range, the one who was supposed to get hurt is Tua and Jordan Love's the one who got hurt and the one yesterday uh, who looks good is not the other one, Trevor Lawrence, who at the end of the game is all of a sudden getting sacked all over the place. And while all of us could look at this, I think all of us had the same reaction. Oh, Brian Thomas, that's going to be a good receiver. That He just did that to Jalen Ramsey. That's the highest paid corner in the league. It's going to be really hard to cover Brian Thomas. Trevor Lawrence will make an occasional throw where you're like, oh, holy shit. And very often, they've got 17 points at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah. My main takeaway from week one around the AFC is – 
we all feel pretty good about Kansas City and all the teams that are support, uh, supposed to challenge them. Maybe they won, but they didn't look impressive in doing it. And I think the gulf between Kansas City <laughs> after one week seems to have grown. Gulf between Kansas City and everybody else. Think of who's supposed to threaten them. Baltimore, so, though, Mike. It's the team that lost that's the biggest threat to them, I think. I assume right. uh, Baltimore didn't play particularly well and had an opportunity to win that game, so maybe it is Baltimore. But Cincinnati, Buffalo, Miami, these are teams that, d- that did not really impress in week one. The Texans? Didn't really impress in week one. That's a game that they should take care of business well, I, in. I'll tell you, though, what, what I was impressed by. Uh, and, and the only thing to me worth taking from the Texans obviously have skill position players and should probably be good for a while. When they're up 22-20 and D'Amico Ryan is saying on fourth and short, I'm not going to go and take the field goal that makes it a one field goal game. No, on fourth and short, inside of your five, I'm going for it because I believe in my offense. I've got better players. i got better players than you do on uh, your defense, no matter who your defense is. I believe in my offense. I haven't seen a lot of coaches willing to do that one. That's not I, – I, even in the new fourth down – even in the new fourth down area where every – era, when everyone's looking at Antonio Pierce in that Chargers game and saying, what are you doing fourth and short on their 43-yard line? You do not punt there. You punt – you just punted away the game. That's not how we're playing football anymore. D'Amico Ryan is pressing the gas on, no, my skill players are better than your guys. Uh, I was really impressed with the game last night. I think both those teams have a chance to to be good. I th- I know Safford made a really bad throw that made me think that he just lost the defender in the cover two because of the uniform that he was wearing and how well he blended into the background right. and end zone. But both teams good, yes. Both teams both teams are good. It, it's really cool to see Detroit actually mattering and the way that they won that game physically imposing in the just in, all running plays in overtime, em- emulating the style that their coach is trying to preach. They had no answer. It's just we're going to knock you back five yards at a time you're not going to tackle Montgomery it was really impressive I'm looking forward to to tonight to see what we got in the Jets but also like it's everyone just assumes San Francisco is going to be here they had a tumultuous offseason but those guys are back Williams is healthy I want to see I'm looking to the NFC now to actually push uh the AFC champion although I do think Cincinnati will figure it out and come November they'll be everybody's darling again just back to the Dolphins for a second because we tend to focus on on Tua and on Tariq Hill and on Jalen Waddle. that defense they shut the Jaguars out in the second half of that game and the play by Javon Holland on Travis Etienne. Great. Unbel- I mean, that not giving up on the play, get it, forcing the fumble, they recover it, and then the Dolphins come all the way back. Their defense, because a lot of people talked about it, you want to sign Tua, you lose Christian Wilkins. That defense was fantastic yesterday. Uh, Jacksonville fell apart at the end. And if this had been not another Florida team, I would have said they got tired in the heat because it's totally unreasonable. Like, I would have said that D-line for the Dolphins just ravaged an offensive line that is gassed at the end of the game. But it ain't any, it ain't any hotter here than it is in Jacksonville. Oh, no. no. Uh, they, they, because at the end of the game, Jacksonville didn't have anything left. Ever feel like your blanket just can't keep up with you or the weather? Introducing the all-season Minky Couture Everywhere Blanket. Whether you're at the beach, on a hike, or cozying up around the fire pit, the Minky Couture Everywhere Blanket is your perfect companion. This new hooded blanket is super soft, ultra-portable, and stylish, too. It offers luxury comfort and warmth that goes wherever you go. Get your new Minky Couture Everywhere Blanket today. Available now in stores and online at MinkyCouture.com. Don Lebatard. To us residents. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty It's good. in there. It's better. It's Think I haven't good. been practicing? Stugats. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't realize we had a substitute complicated legacy. Brought to you by Headquarter Toyota. <laughs> 441 Powerline Road. Second down to nine. <laughs> this is the Don Lebatard Show with the Stugats.
Let's go out to Tony. Let's Tony, go out to this heat. Uh, yes, Tony is sweating right now. Uh, he is. Uh, is that that Winwood? That is. Uh, yes, outside of. Uh, I like him. That is a mural. You do like it when Tony is all sweaty. Uh, we're going to do Tony's top five here uh, to get as much football analysis as we can here. Uh, Tony, tonight you're going to be doing that all season, correct? Uh, on Sunday night, Tony. Uh, Tony Night Live is what you're going to be doing after football games this season. <laughs> there's a lot of yeah, Dan. There's a lot of things that uh, that bear my name on it. This one is Sunday Night Live, which will be going live after the four o'clock games uh, to recap all of the day's events in the NFL. But I've been told I can't actually step on the sidewalk because of some uh, issues with permits and whatnot. So I'm going to be doing it from the street. I got my security guard right here. He's waiting for me. You want to pan over? Say what's up to my boy real quick. All right, but this, this is all What's fresh. Okay, this is all fresh stuff, though, right, Tony? This doesn't come from Tony Absolutely. Sunday Night Tony Live, right? This is just no. uh, this no. is all fresh no. stuff. Uh, okay, let's see. Do we have OLI or just top five? We have. Oh, of course we've got OLI dance week one of the NFL season. What am I going to come in with only top fives? You're crazy. <laughs> we got boy. four OLIs to start. As usual, the Tony's Top 5 is presented by the haters. We love them. We appreciate them for making this happen every single week. OLI number one. Dak quietly got the biggest bag in NFL history, and it wasn't even the biggest story of the day. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Was it mm. quietly he got think. the biggest bag? It's quiet, yeah. Yeah, it's quiet when it has to happen in the middle before you go out to a, a reporter in Miami Gardens. It, quiet. it happened very quietly yeah. because of Schefter's day. Did you did you guys see that, Danny? Pan up, pan up really quick. Did you guys see that just pass by? What happened? What's oh, up? Oh wow. Did you see what just flew by? It was Jamar Chase's leverage in contract negotiations with the Bengals this season. It just flew by. I can't believe it. Okay, so you think you're playing a game that you lose 16 to 10. Okay. Not good. Not good. Uh Just flew by. You got to sit that one out if you're Jamar Chase. He can still sit out if he wants, though. He can still do that. Nah. The damage is done, Stugatz. Okay. All right. OLI number three. The masterpiece is done. It's a Bishop to Rook 9. It's the Queen's Gambit. It's over. Kendrick Lamar headlines Super Bowl halftime show. Ending Drake once and for all, guys. I'm sorry to report. It's over. It's officially over. That has to be true, right? If you if because he's gonna is he is he gonna do not like us during the halftime to bury Drake? Oh, of course. Song. Yeah. But he's of not actually course, done. Man. No one stopped streaming Drake. He's still putting up major numbers. It's but just the fight is the over. Opt- yeah, it's long since been been over, but not that it matters. Like people that were Drake fans didn't cease being Drake fans. They just cease I, I being this, loud about Drake, it. Drake definitely threw the phone down when he saw the, the tweet and the Instagram post. Oh, he come on. I mean, right. like, come on. Come on. That has to suck. First, I mean, come on. First week me? of the, the NFL season. Yeah, but it's like, come on. It happened on a good day, though. Like the DAC news. It was kind of no, just buried by hurts. the, the best hurts. player in the NFL voted the by the peers getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds he brings Drake uh, out during the performance? Ah, not high right now. If you zero, <laughs> I mean zero. Squashing of the beef. I mean, <laughs> last OLI boys, Sam Darnold. Oh yeah. come on! Yeah, no, he's come right on. about that because he, he started Darnold. twelve for twelve. Oh, yeah. Come on! Yeah, he put it in the form of a question, which I think is fair. Yeah, I said he's right. It's yeah. just there's two question marks at the end of that. By the way. Wait a minute. Two question marks? It's So Justin Jefferson yeah. is going to make Sam Darnold a good quarterback now? That's what's going to happen? It's going to be it's going to be enough for me to go Sam Darnold. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It, it could be the Giants that made him a good quarterback, too. I mean, the Giants. We'll can, see. Can you guys Mike. look up for me what the Giants are since starting 6-1 and one and Brian Dayball went on God Bless Football as the Di- Daniel uh, Jones I looked it fixer? Up. What a time. I looked it up. They, ass, they, yeah, they are in deep. <laughs> okay, so it's one and deep. <laughs> Yep. Since being six and one. All right, go ahead, Tony. Number five. All right, number five, Giants, Panthers, Raiders. My God, Pot's going to be a long season. Yeah, all of those are going to be. That's so can we? Were there more bad teams revealed yesterday than good ones? Like bad teams, you yes. can end their season. It, that that's not going to happen. That's not going to go anywhere. No chance of winning anything. Giants, Panthers, and Raiders. It's over. Like, let's talk next Ooh. season. That might be one, two, three for the draft next season. I might have just revealed it. In the first half, I was willing to say, Chargers, your season's over. Yeah. I was Without Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, I'm like, wait a minute. Is that what that's going to look like all year? Constipated. <laughs> One and a. All right, number four. Yeah, he's only played 18 games since high school. 
But did you see Anthony Richardson throw a 70-yard bomb oh, off his back foot in a muddy pocket, Dan? Yeah, this is a, a muddy pocket. Special. It was on turf. Man. Muddy pocket. That's right. That's <laughs> when when that that yes. first defensive tackle, and you got to move up a little bit. You got to move 70 back. Yards the end pushing foot. the left tackle against you. Special. Okay, you guys are doing special. Missed a wheel route, wide open in the end zone. You guys, you guys, also don't special. worry about that, Mike. Don't that's worry that's about that, Mike. We're really going to do this with on what one throw. I, you know what, Dan? You love guys it pushing one. it down the field. It's C.J. Stroud no, going what, deep. It's Richardson what, going deeper. What, what I love is misses wide well, open guys. But, however, and this part's important, <laughs> did I just see someone who's got a bigger arm than Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes? Like, that's what happened there. One throw off the back foot, 70 yards. I don't care if he's good or not. Did I just see a bigger arm than Josh Allen and Mahomes? Bingo, Dan. Now you are certified in quarterback uh, love right there. That's what that's what we like to do around here. Number three. Wow. This one's this one's heavy. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. You've noticed that quote from Oppenheimer that he took from the ba- Bhagavad Gita. Of course. Well Arthur, said. Blank, <laughs> Arthur, Arthur Blank. Arthur uh-huh. Blank has put together yeah. two chemicals that are never supposed to be together. And he thought that it was going to work. Kirk Cousins, Atlanta Falcons. This can only end one way, Dan. Terribly. Terribly. Uh, that was a terrible start. A whole lot of people are telling me the Falcons are going to run away with that division just because Kirk Cousins is there, and that didn't look like that yesterday. Number two. Number two. Bro, do you not know what Tyreek Hill and Calais Campbell look like? All you guys, n- none of you none of you could be like, damn, I think this is Tyreek Hill. Oh, the guy who's 6'8", 325 pounds. That might be a football player. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Number one, you got something Number better one. than that. You got something. Those are those are your Jags, your alleged Jags. You've been on the Jags for three years, Tony. <laughs> tough, tough, uh, tough second half there. Uh, we'll, we'll bounce back. Duval County, stand up. Number one, Dan. He can still be a decent QB going forward, but the dream is dead. I didn't have to squint to see him on his knees doing a surrender cobra. While former Kane Tyreek Stevenson is running the other way for a 43-yard pick six to seal the game, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I don't know if we can put that up there. The surrender cobra that Will Levis did yes, on his Will knees. Levis. It's a terrible while Tyreek play. Stevenson. Just, it's so the worst. It's, it's, uh, it's so bad. They, you need that quarterback to win you the game there against the Bears. The Bears have no business winning that game, and the only way they win the game pick six underhand. Will Levis <laughs> defeated. Uh, Mayo commercials not quite essential and sexy when that's how the game is ending because. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. All right. Uh, thank you, Tony. I didn't need to squint to see that one, Dan. How sweaty are you right now? It's very humid out there. It's swampy out there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, As yeah. you can see, Ugh. I'm yeah. ma- ma calor de coño yes. su madre. Eso, yeah. I was all weekend. I felt like somebody was pouring olive oil on me because it is so swampy all over Miami. Thank you, Tony. We appreciate it. Uh, he had to get in. Everyone's got football opinions today. Lucy had football opinions today. What about the other football? What about Alex Morgan? Are we going to celebrate her? Or does football win everything? And there's no talking about anything else other than football after week one. One of the game's all-time greats, one of the greatest soccer products this nation has ever put out. And yes, we should honor Alex Morgan, who retired, had a retirement match, and it was covered by the worldwide leader in epic fashion by outsourcing it to AI in which the article did not mention her at all. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, and they're doing this a lot and they're celebrating themselves. They're putting out really poor uh poorly worded tweets celebrating the fact that hey, all the coverage that uh, we could staff as a worldwide leader against with a person that could actually give you your lacrosse news, it's now AI. And when it comes to the one of the greatest soccer players this nation's ever produced, we will write an article outsourced to AI, and it'll ignore the actual reason everybody's there watching that game. Wait a minute, though. What's happening here? Everyone's this... mailing it in, Dano. Well, but Stugatz, a lot of people are being paid 18 and $20 million a year to cut corners on that one we're already there we're already we're already at can't cover things correctly or respectfully in print because we're paying a bunch of people 18 and 20 million dollars to just give hot takes on television like that seems kind that of seems to be more important that seems, in this day and okay age, but though. that seems kind of fast to get there that f- seems a little disrespectful in 2024 it. to um celebrations that are look Stugatz, it seems fairly obvious Okay. 
that in retrospect, we can all look at what's happening in the WNBA and say, man, we made that all a little more difficult on women than we had to in terms of what they had to climb over to get to equality. And a lot of us in male-dominated power structures, and I say us meaningfully there, all sorts of blind spots, made it a little harder on women than we needed to. Alex Morgan probably deserves slightly more respect than that on a football Sunday that we're going to just bury everything that's happening over there and not even give it the courtesy of a human being writing the story because uh, journalism has been thrown so far out the door and artificial intelligence has made it so that all of the hedge funds can figure out how to make money on efficiencies here. Having a human reporter write about something meaningful, we can't be already there in 2024. We, uh, yeah, we've like, been there. Yeah, we've been there with the fringe right. sports. It's yes. a, I know it's a, it's a disrespect to Alex Morgan. It's a very high disrespect to Alex Morgan. All in all, I thought it was a good e- weekend for ESPN, but this is something that's been brewing, uh, brewing out in the peripheries of the, the main big three sports here in this, con- in this country. ESPN has made it known that they're going to be doing this, and with Alex Morgan, you have a poorly written A article that doesn't even mention Alex Morgan. By the way, the keeper on the penalty kick, you got to let that one go in. Uh, but Alex is being showered with praise from the people that she cares about, like her peers, the people who played, people who love soccer. I do wonder, I'm not saying you guys are wrong because you're not. She deserves to have a journalist come and write the story of Alex Morgan. She is certainly deserving of that. But do you think she cares? Like, do you think she's sitting there going, hey, they didn't they didn't cover the ending correctly. I don't uh, look. I I have failed in instead of talking about her and her career, I'm talking about an easy side angle something that is about AI and journalism and is about the coverage of the coverage and the coverage lacking certain weight. I am telling you that I have been behind here. I often do this as well with women's sports because I have not done a good job of covering this and evolving with the times. And it's super easy to be on a high horse sanctimoniously pointing over here and saying, why don't you do this better when I myself haven't done it well? It feels a bit like... Uh, Katie Nolan and us criticizing Tom Brady's broadcast. Uh, uh, and while I just sliced an S off of D'Amico Ryan's name while criticizing Tom Brady, the critic always gets to win here with a certain lack of self-awareness. But that team and that woman are real, real life pioneers on on being at the total forefront of where it is that they've been screaming, Hey, Female excellence over here, over here, it's worth a lot. How about equal pay? How about, uh, you know, televising our sports with the same respect that you televise other excellence? How about we don't make Brittany Griner not have to be able to get a salary here so she has to go get one in Russia and end up in jail? I just don't think very often in, uh, in modern times we're thinking about who are the real pioneers in sports because we've lived in their era watching them fight for every morsel while men's soccer lags woefully behind the excellence that these women were putting together for how many years? 15 years? This story is at the cross-section of two big stories. I'd like to isolate the fact that Alex Morgan has done more than enough what else would you like Alex Morgan to do to get some notoriety on a football Monday to celebrate what was a, an illustrious career with a lot of trophies and a lot of success and a lot of fandom? So thank you, Alex Morgan. But ESPN, we all saw this coming with artificial intelligence, and you've just it caught up in your intentions, which is to save money, and you want to celebrate the fact that, hey, now we can actually give – these sports coverage, whereas before we wouldn't even write an article about lacrosse or women's soccer. Now we have this garbage article that is churned out by artificial intelligence. You end up insulting people even more if you're going to outsource a legend, a legend stepping away from the game. If you're going to outsource that to AI and it's going to be the laziest AI ever that can't even frame the narrative correctly, that's a real bad job and hopefully you do something to correct it, like maybe staff a human being. I agree with all of that, but if you're a legend, you need to retire right in the middle of baseball season for max coverage. Stu Gatz here. The most important things in my life are my wife, 
my children, and of course, their safety. That's why I've had Simply Safe Home Security in my house for seven years now. I want you to have the same peace of mind that I and so many listeners experience every day, which is why I partnered with Simply Safe to offer listeners 50% off a system. Just visit simplysafe.com slash DLB to claim it. Whether it's setting the alarm before we all go to bed or setting that alarm before we go on another vacation, Simply Safe gives me amazing peace of mind. Simply Safe provides faster response for better protection with fast protect monitoring and live guard protection. Protect your home with Simply Safe right now. Levitar Show listeners can get 50% off any new Simply Safe system plus a free indoor security camera with fast protect monitoring. Just visit simplysafe.com slash DLB to claim this offer. It's for a limited time only, so be sure to order today. That's simplysafe.com slash DLB. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Now's a good time to remember where the story of tequila started. In 1795, the first tequila distillery was opened by the Cuervo family. And 229 years later, Cuervo is still going strong. Family owned from the start, same family, same land. Now's a good time to enjoy Cuervo, the tequila that invented tequila. Go to Cuervo.com to shop tequila or visit a store near you. Cuervo, now's a good time. Trademarks owned by Beckley. SAB, the CV. Copyright 2024. Proximo. Jersey City, New Jersey. Please drink responsibly.